Imagine training all your life for the Olympics, only for everything to fall apart. I greatly apologize if I let you guys down. There is perhaps no greater accomplishment for an athlete than winning an Olympic medal. The combination of shining on the world's biggest stage and representing your own country cannot be described in words. But the pressure is immense, and for some of these athletes, it's enough to push them to try out-of-the-box methods that are not up to the standards of the Olympics. And breaking an Olympic rule is often punishing. That I stand before you and tell you that I have betrayed your trust. Shakari Richardson, one of the United States' most captivating athletes known for her brightly colored hair, long fingernails, and magnetic personality, will not be able to compete in the 100-meter event at the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. After learning of the passing of her biological mother and facing the pressures to perform, she used cannabis in Oregon, where it is legalized. However, the World Anti-Doping Agency lists THC as a banned substance and gave Richardson a one-month suspension, preventing her from competing 100 millimeter trials, crushing her Olympic dream this year. However, she may be able to compete in the 4x100 relay if the US team decides to include her despite the positive test. While Richardson apologized for using the drug and accepted her suspension, it appears her supporters have not. The Let Shakari Run petition was launched with hundreds of signatures calling the ruling outdated and hoping to give the magnetic track star a chance to compete in Tokyo. Ryan Lochte 12-time Olympic medalist and 8-time Olympic gold medalist Ryan Lochte was suspended for 14 months after an Instagram post. He shared a photo of himself using an IV to inject vitamins, which is banned by the US Anti-Doping Agency. Unlike traditional methods of doping, he didn't take an illegal substance. The problem is that the US Anti-Doping Agency does not allow the amount of vitamins he was transfusing. He said the vitamins were something his family also took to boost their immune system. but he accepted the USADA's decision. This is his second ban in less than two years, following a 10-month suspension due to behavior where he and three fellow swimmers vandalized a local gas station. While he claimed it was a burglary gone wrong, security cameras told a different story. Ryan was cleared of criminal charges, but he had to forfeit the $100,000 in Olympic medal bonus money. Lance Armstrong after his first Tour de France victory in 1999, cyclist and cancer survivor Lance Armstrong immediately became an icon of resilience. His reputation was well known around the world, and along with his popularity, his charitable cancer organization, Live Strong, also grew. But his seven Tour de France titles from 1999 to 2005 were revoked in 2012 after years of suspicion culminated in the exposure of an elaborate, multifaceted doping scheme. With in Armstrong's team. In light of that evidence, in 2013, the International Olympic Committee nullified the bronze medal that Armstrong won for the men's road time trial at the 2000 Summer Olympics in Sydney, Australia. Soon afterward, Armstrong delivered his first public admission of guilt in an interview with Oprah Winfrey. Did you ever take banned substances to enhance your cycling performance? Yes. He did not return the medal for another eight months. Tyler Hamilton Tyler Hamilton was an elite cyclist who rarely got the opportunity to shine. He was a member of Lance Armstrong's team and frequently used his talents to make sure Armstrong crossed the line first. However, at the 2004 Olympics Games, he got a chance to shine. Hamilton even took home a gold medal in the time trials. That medal was subsequently stripped when it was revealed that Hamilton had been doping. He later wrote a book about his experience using performance enhancers and how he got away with it. He even claims many cyclists are still doping today but haven't been caught. Tyson Gay The second fastest man in the world, Tyson Gay proclaimed he put his trust in the wrong person when he was banned for doping. He said a cream given by someone he trusted had substances the US anti-doping agency banned, testosterone and human growth hormones. The four-time US champion in the 100 meters has returned his silver medal in the men's 4x100 meter relay from the 2012 London Olympic Games. He served only a one-year suspension. In 2015, the International Olympic Olympic Committee also stripped Gay's relay teammates of their medals. Under international rules, an entire team can be disqualified and stripped of medals because of doping by one member. 
Marianne Jones Every couple of Olympics, a track and field athlete completely dominates the rest of the field. That was Marianne Jones in 2000, when she left the world's best in the dust, literally. She won gold medals in the 100 meter, 200 meter, and 4x400 meter relay. Not only that, but she also nabbed bronze medals for long jump and 4x100 meter relay. She was the star of the games. An accomplishment like that is often followed by allegations of cheating, but there was no proof. But in 2003, an investigation into the Bay Area Laboratory Cooperative led to suspicions that Marion had used performance-enhancing drugs. In 2007, she admitted that she had been using steroids prior to and during the games. She was subsequently stripped of her multiple 2000 Games medals. Ross Rebliati at the 1998 Winter Olympics in Nagano, Canadian snowboarder Ross Rebliati won a gold medal in giant slalom. Rebliati subsequently tested positive for cannabis, after which a series of Olympic boards voted to strip him of the medal. The ruling was unusual because cannabis was not on the International Olympic Committee's list of banned substances at the time, as it was added a couple of months after the Games concluded. In addition, it is not generally considered to be a performance-enhancing drug. An appeal to the court of arbitration for sport was quickly rewarded and Rebliati was able to keep his medal. Rebliati is now the face of a cannabis dispensary branding company. Ben Johnson At the 1998 Seoul Olympics, Canadian sprinter Ben Johnson won the 100-meter final and broke a world record. After the race, he said a gold medal, that's something no one can take away from you. They did, though. Johnson was later stripped of his medal. Three days after sprinting to glory in the 100-meter final at the 1988 Summer Olympics in Seoul, Ben Johnson was disqualified for a positive test for steroids. Johnson had set a new world record time of 9.79 seconds in the race. When the positive drug test was revealed, Johnson denied any wrongdoing, but later admitted to using steroids while training for the Olympics. Johnson's records were removed, and the gold medal was awarded to American Carl Lewis instead. In 1993, Johnson failed a second drug test, which turned up an elevated testosterone to epitestosterone ratio, and the International Amateur Athletic Federation, the governing body of track and field, banned him for life. Dong Fang Xiao. This Chinese gymnast broke rules in a different way. After an investigation that lasted more than a year, the International Gymnastics Federation determined she was too young when she was representing China at the 2000 Olympics. This is perhaps the biggest age scandal the Olympics has ever faced. While Olympic rules state that girls must be at least 16 to compete, it was discovered that Dong Fang Xiao was only 14 as her documents were falsified. Official paperwork suggested Fang Xiao's year of birth was indeed 1983, but sharp-eyed investigators noticed that her own blog claimed she was born in the Year of the Ox, which ran from 1985 to 1986. She was part of the team to win the gymnastics women's team bronze medal. The IOC struck Feng Xiao's scores from the Olympic record and withdrew her team's bronze medal. The Russian Doping Scandal Russian athletes have been accused of doping suspicions at several Olympic Games, but these allegations were made worse by whistleblowers and evidence. This includes a very complicated sample swapping system to protect cheating athletes in an effort to boost Russia's medal count when the country hosted the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi. Due to the statewide aid in helping athletes cheat, the IOC banned all Russian athletes before the 2016 games in Rio. Each athlete had to be reviewed and cleared in order to prove they were not cheating. After the extensive review, 271 Russian athletes were approved to compete, and 116 athletes were banned. On the other hand, the International Paralympic Committee banned the entire Russian Federation from competing at the Rio Paralympics. Do you think all these athletes were fairly or unfairly punished? Should athletes be allowed to take whatever they want? Let us know what you think in the comments. For more videos like this one and the latest in pop culture, be sure to like this video and subscribe to The Things Celebrity.